if we're not careful, we can end up making two big mistakes about justice. Sometimes we like to relegate it as a something out there, a peripheral, an external thing, rather than something that really means something important to the heart of God. On the other hand, sometimes we make the pursuit of justice so important that even good things like justice can become idolatrous. At the heart, justice not only reflects the character of God, it is in itself an expression of worship. That's why justice belongs in the church. We sing, we read scripture, we take communion, we have fellowship, but we're also mindful of what it means that we embody the very nature and character of God, that we pursue the kingdom of God, not just someday in heaven, but also here on earth. You see, church is not just merely an event that we go to, it's not a 60-minute service, it's not a program, it's a group of people on mission together for the purposes of God, for the glory of God. Justice is not just writing a check, it's not just a campaign or a fundraiser, but it's us leaving these pews, exiting those doors, and living out our convictions in our families, in our neighborhoods, and in the larger world. There's a scripture passage that compels and it convicts me. It's from the prophet Amos. And in the fifth chapter, it reads, I can't stand your religious meetings. I'm fed up with your conferences and conventions. I want nothing to do with your religious projects, your pretentious slogans and goals. I'm sick of your fundraising schemes, your public relations and image making. I've had all I can take of your noisy eagle music. When was the last time you sang to me? Do you know what I want? I want justice, oceans of it. I want fairness, rivers of it. That's what I want. That's all I want.